If you play Bee Swarm, at some point in your life, you've probably heard of something called a macro. Maybe a friend recommended it to you, or you found out that the legendary ELOL uses it, or maybe you've no idea what a macro is at all, and you just clicked on this video. Well, basically, macro is basically a thing that will play the game and grind it for you, so that way, even if you can't be playing the game at the time, you're still in the game grinding and making progress. The reason this is so overpowered, though, is because if you're a high enough level, then you can make literal trillions of honey a day using macros. And not only that, but you can also acquire a heck ton of useful materials. So a lot of you guys asked for this. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up the most overpowered macro of all time. Natro macro, or it's pronounced natro. I have no idea. In this video, we're just going to be calling it natro though. Anyways, let's go set this up. So first of all, I've linked it in the description, but if for some reason you can't find the description, then you're just going to search up auto hotkey and then just click on this one or literally just click the link in the description guys it's that easy after that though you're going to click download and then you're going to click download v1.1 there we go i'm just going to personally save it to my downloads folder and as you can see it's currently downloading so after you do have it download you are going to go to your downloads folder as you can see it's right here so what you're going to do is you're going to double click then you're going to click yes and then this screen is going to pop up and you're going to click express installation this is pretty easy and then after that you just click exit once the installation is complete now after this you actually have to go download the macro itself so this is just the program that runs the macro so you're going to go to discord if you actually want to get this macro you have to join the natural macro discord i have it linked in the description so just click that but after you've joined the server you're going to go down to natural macro and you are just going to click the most recent one and you're going to download it yes you're gonna continue to download don't worry this is not dangerous guys also sorry if my voice sounds weird throughout this video i'm currently sick but i'm still making youtube videos anyways as you can see natural macro is downloaded so we're just going to go back to the downloads folder so now you guys can see that it's currently in my downloads folder so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on it and then you're going to want to go to extract all choose whatever folder you want i'm just going to put it here in my download so you're just going to click extract and there we go this might take a little bit but basically it's just going to copy all these items and there we go it's now complete so it will bring me here so i'm just going to double click on natural macro so now you're just going to double click on natural macro and it will actually open now before you think you can take it from here no you cannot you cannot just start it from here there are a few more things you need to do before you even start macroing and these are extremely important so make sure you pay attention otherwise the macro will literally not work First of all, you have to make sure you have the right screen size. So if you're on a laptop, you should be pretty fine, but I'm currently on my PC. But basically what you're going to want to do is you just want to go to your main desktop, you're going to right click, and then you're going to go to display settings. So you want to have 1920 by 1080. If for some reason you that's just not available, 1366 by 768 will work just fine. But basically what you're just going to want to do is you're going to want to click on 1920 by 1080. As you can see, my screen looks a little weird, but it'll be perfectly fine because this is what you need and then you can always change it back later after you're done macroing and by the way all these steps are here in the natural macro discord also please make sure that any of your fps boosters smooth and sharpened whatever if you're using shaders on roblox please make sure that they're all disabled otherwise the macro won't work now this part is slightly boring so i don't really want to walk you guys through this but basically you're going to just quickly pause the video go to your roblox settings and make sure that all of this is completely checked off otherwise once again the macro will not work so it's extremely crucial that you have this done but anyways now we're going to go back to natural macro so there's just a few more little last things that you need to take care of first of all you want to choose if you're actually going to want to get to the hive by walking resetting or whatever if you're end game i recommend doing resetting because a lot of your instant conversion will get you your pollen but if you're like a mid game slash early game i recommend that you choose to walk personally i'm going to choose reset because i'm end game all right now this step is one of the most important ones so first of all what you're going to want to do is make sure that your character has absolutely no haste so now anyways you guys can see that i currently have no haste whatsoever so you're going to want to make sure you don't even have oil activated now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down into your settings and you need to find your base movement speed it's right down here by like honey at hive so my base movement speed without any buffs is 33.6 and make sure that you get this right and now you're going to go to your macro and you're going to go to settings and that movement speed that you just had you're going to paste it here in movement speed so you're going to go 33.6 seriously make sure you get this right otherwise the macro 
Micro won't work. Now, after that, you're going to want to put your sprinkler type. I have the Supreme Saturator. That's what it auto goes to. But if you have like the diamond, silver, or basic ones, you got to put that in there as well. Also, check if you want it to convert your balloon or not. Now, next, this is just optional, but if you do have a private server, I recommend you put the link right here just so that way, if any time it disconnects, it puts you back in your private server where you belong. Now, right here is what makes Metro Macro so amazing is you can actually put a Discord webhook in here and then your user ID and you can see from the past that basically what it does is it will message me what is going on currently in your macro so that way you can just see exactly what's going on and it gives you this amazing hourly report that shows you like how much honey you've made but anyways we're kind of getting off topic but this is just pretty cool after you have the status set up you're just going to go you're just going to want to choose what hive slot you currently want it to choose so I like it to choose slot number one obviously if you're in a private server and then obviously make sure that you have your correct V number put in so I'm going to put in 50 now here's just a bunch of fun stuff that you can customize to your own but basically you you could just choose what kind of fields you want it to collect in if you have downloaded the most recent version then you can actually use the beesmith stuff so basically it'll just auto collect like your stockings wreath your beesmith feast the snow machine candles samovar honestly whatever you want and i highly recommend you have the wealth clock on as this is just a side thing and it'll get you a heck ton of tickets when you macro as you can see there's boosters right here and quests i like to have it do my polar bear quest but if you want you can do like buck ob and riley b now one final thing you're going to want to do now honestly make sure that you use these hotkeys but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back into the swarm simulator and you're going to want to press f11 to full screen it if you don't have f11 on your keyboard then you can just go into roblox settings and click full screen and it'll automatically full screen now to start the macro you just click f1 or for some reason that doesn't work you can just click start and then just full screen right now while it's resetting your character but anyways it'll just start moving your character i'm actually going to stop the macro right now and this will basically just get you a heck ton of honey so leave this running for as long as you possibly can during these minutes but definitely if you want to macro snowflakes there are different settings you should be putting so if you want me to teach you guys how to macro like your snowflakes and gingerbread bears i'll make a video on that so subscribe so you don't miss that thank you so much for watching guys i'm your favorite white hive and i'll see you later